And what I wanted was to get a full spectrum of arts experiences for our young people, to give as broad a range of experiences as possible, but also to support accreditation and learning in the school, especially things like the Arts Award. The reasons for us choosing specific acts was partly in order to get a broad spectrum of creative and arts experiences for our young people, uh, many of whom have very little experience of this. The second was uh, to uh, provide support to the accredited courses that we deliver in creative arts, especially the Arts Award, and also just for pure enjoyment. Very recent impact, we've just had a girl uh, who's a very, very talented singer and uh, she's got up and sung in front of a live band for the first time and absolutely nailed it. Playing with the live band was so fun and I really liked it and everyone was singing in the background and I think it's a really good career for everyone. I think for the pupils it's just that you can have a go at being creative and that they have a great deal to offer and a lot of our kids um, with ASD um, come to us from schools and they say, I don't have ideas, I can't be creative, I'm not a creative person, that's not what I'm like. And over time, you actually find that, um, though they find more to the point that they can and they are. It's just the kind of condition to think otherwise. So, um, it's, it's a massive experience for them and I'm hoping that their experiences here have ignited a bit of a spark. My name's Jack Dixon, uh, I'm the Director of Orchestral Creative Solutions. We aren't a disability band. We're a band that just happens to have some people who may have a disability, if that makes sense. I think it's particularly important for, for young people with additional needs to see an older group who have got shared experiences and be able to see how successful they can be at something. So to see, to see Christopher Zoe Ross performing and singing with confidence and with a professional standard, we really hope it inspires a younger generation to, to want to actively participate in music and you know, to set themselves high standards when it comes to music, to want to be as good as they can be, to, to challenge themselves. And looking around from this morning's event, it was, it's priceless to see what starts out as a really quiet and reserved audience, four or five songs in, they're absolutely loving it, bouncing around, singing. I thought that the orchestra was amazing. I when it was there, it was like a very nice environment. It was a crazy environment. It was just, I just loved being there. It was really nice just to do something different for once. I would recommend this to all the students because it's fun and watching the band and watching other people's faces be happy while watching it was really fun. I would definitely recommend this to um, other schools and students because it's really inspirational. I've always wanted to have a job in the music of art since I was younger and then it's just encourages even more. I would absolutely recommend other schools to get involved with this because I think in the background of you know, results-based education and more and more focused on the bottom line of your GCSE results and that kind of thing, creativity sometimes gets lost in the mix and it's very important for young people to understand not only is a lifelong um, gift that they can have but also there are, you know, it's an industry and it's something which they can shine in and also, if not make a living, they can at least augment the living that they're making, doing something they love. 